Hi guys, here we are with another workout video. This is the ultimate ab workout. This is made up of four pretty tough exercises that we're gonna do for 30 seconds with a 10 second rest in between. I've tried to switch these up a little bit so there is not a sit up in sight. So get down on a mat or on a carpet and get ready to work those abs. So we're starting off with some plank twists. Now you might be familiar with the regular plank, but if you're not, then don't worry. The idea is to have a straight line from your head all the way down to your heels, making sure that your bum is tucked under the entire time. Now if you wanna just hold the plank, you can do. If you wanna push yourself a little bit more, what you wanna do is twist your hips from side to side without letting your bum come up too much. The aim is to keep your shoulders and your upper body as still as possible and only move your hips. You might have to shuffle your feet a little bit whilst doing this, but that is okay. The aim is to really feel it in your abs. So now we've got a 10 second rest and we're gonna prep ready to do our reverse crunch. Two, one, ready to reverse crunch. This is a great exercise for your lower abs. So the ones right at the bottom that don't always get that much attention. When you're doing this exercise, try not to push down on your hands too much because you really wanna just make sure that you're isolating your ab muscles and only using them to lift the legs and the bum. Okay, and we're nearly done. Three, two, one, and we can rest again. Moving on to our flutter kicks. We're gonna start these in three, two, one, and flutter kicks. Now with these, you want your legs at a 45 degrees angle, and the movement is so, so small. These are also great for the lower abs. The main aim here is to suck your stomach in. So imagine your belly button is being pulled back to the back of your spine. Okay, we've got five seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. That is a tough one, but we still got one more exercise to go. We are moving on to the double crunch and we're doing this using our elbows in three, two, one, so with this, you want to bring your chest to your knees by lifting your elbows off the floor and then straightening back out. The thing with this exercise is that your abs are engaged the entire time. There is no rest moment for your abs whilst doing this. If you can't go the speed that I'm going, that is absolutely fine. Feel free to slow it down as long as you really push through those 30 seconds. Two, one, and that is round one done. We have a 10 second rest, and then we're gonna do it all over again. Okay, so now we're on to round two. Now I really want you to focus on the exercise during this video. So three seconds before the end of a round, you are going to hear three bleeps, which is gonna signify the end of that exercise. You're also gonna hear another three bleeps at the end of the 10 second rest period, so you know that you need to get ready for your next exercise. This way you don't have to keep looking at the screen or kind of counting in your head, you're just listening out for those beeps.
You're still with me and you can really feel those abs burning by now. If not, and you want to continue and do a few more rounds, be my guest. However, if you're done, at the end of this round, we're going to stretch out our ab muscles. Give them a well-deserved stretch. So there you are. You've completed the exercise. We're just going to roll onto our stomachs and lift our upper body using the support from our hands. This is really gonna stretch out all of your ab muscles. Hold it here for as long as you need, making sure that you don't feel anything in your lower back. If you feel it in your lower back, then you may be pinching and slightly bend your arms. After this, we're gonna go back into child's pose. This is a really nice way to just relax your body after you've done an intense workout. Really good job, guys. I'll see you next time. <laughs> 